These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, and this Monday, I'm Megan Thompson tracking those top stories for you from ABC 15 Arizona. America votes with 22 days and counting until Election Day. Have you received your early ballot yet? Nearly 2 million voters in Maricopa County are expected to receive a ballot by mail for the November 5th general election. And remember, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump aren't the only presidential candidates. Scripps News' Jesse George takes a look at the long shot bids for the presidency, what states they're on the ballot, and how third party candidates may just impact the election. We can say with confidence based on polling that it will either be Harris or Trump living here at the White House come the end of January. But don't tell that to third party presidential candidates. And while there aren't many third party candidates this year, there are just enough to potentially impact the result. Trump, Harris, only one though could be president of the United States come the end of January. Of course, there are other presidential candidates out there, all running because they believe the country's two-party system doesn't best represent all Americans. Chase Oliver is a Libertarian's presidential nominee. Jill Stein is running for president on behalf of the Green Party. Cornell West is running as an independent. While the polls show no third party candidate is running a campaign strong enough to seriously challenge Harris or Trump, the candidates have been successful in getting on many ballots. Libertarian candidate Chase Oliver is on the ballot in all of these states. Green Party candidate Jill Stein has made the ballot in most key states too. And while Cornell West is on the fewest ballots, Politico's Brittany Gibson, she covers third party candidates, says he is still capable of taking votes away from Democrats. He's really galvanized um, the pro-Palestinian true activist support. To understand just how consequential a third party vote can be, look no further than Wisconsin. In 2016, Trump won it by a little more than 20,000 votes. In 2020, he lost it by around the same margin. In 2016, over 100,000 Wisconsin voters cast a ballot for the Libertarian candidate that year, and over 30,000 cast a ballot for Jill Stein, who ran for president that year too. The Democratic National Committee is acutely aware of the impact third party candidates may have this year. Last week, they launched this attack ad against Stein, which is airing in swing states. Stein was key to Trump's 2016 wins in battleground states. The biggest third party question mark may involve someone who is no longer running for president, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He endorsed Trump weeks ago, but is still on the ballot in all of these states, including some swing states. A recent Wisconsin poll showed Kennedy still earning 3% support. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington. And keeping you updated on some of those awesome Arizonans that are helping fill a need in the areas hit hard by Hurricane Milton. APS crew members from across Arizona arrived in Florida this weekend. The six crews and support staff immediately getting to work, restoring power in remote parts of the state, specifically in rural areas around the St. Augustine and Palm Coast region. We caught up with one of the crews about the support they're receiving. You know, as people drive by and see the guys in the air working, you know, they're honking horns, waving. Um, so all in all, it's been a really good experience today. And the crew plans to be in Florida for three weeks total. We will keep checking back in on their progress. Hey, tonight, ABC 15 is your home for another blockbuster Monday night football matchup. Our evening programming leads off with ABC 15 News at 4. Then catch Josh Allen and the Bills taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Jets at 5. We'll be back with more local news right after the game and again at 10. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosio. That temperature today back in the hundreds today. We get one more day in the triple digits before finally some relief from this heat and from this record heat. Temperatures in the 70s to 80s across northern Arizona. Now we could still set a record high today as that current record for today's date stands at 100. And again, I'm forecasting a high of 101. So record setting warmth plan on triple digits, but only for a short time this afternoon with those temperatures climbing into the hundreds by 3 to 4 o'clock here today. That temperature reaches 101 in Phoenix today, upper 90s Tuesday and Wednesday, low 90s by Thursday. Then look at the huge changes coming our way by Friday and Saturday. We've got a storm system on the way that's going to drop those temperatures into the low 80s. Yeah, you heard that right, low 80s Friday and Saturday, bringing rain chances back, especially to northern Arizona. A chance for scattered showers up north and a chance for showers here in the valley too. Much cooler overnight lows too by this weekend. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app.